We're rolling! Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the latest in hobby robotics. My name is Fritz Mühlebar and I'm sitting outside in my garden because I'm waiting for the postman to come. The reason why I'm waiting for him is because uh, I am expecting a lot of stuff to build multicopters. While waiting for that, uh, I was thinking, uh, what should I be doing? There's one question that keeps popping up in uh, my inbox. Uh, people are just asking me, like, uh, what would, how, how should I get into building robots? And uh, uh, why don't you show us something instead of, you know, uh, just uh, uh, talking and showing other people's projects and stuff? Uh, I don't have the resources to, you know, to do uh, online uh, video tutorials here. I just don't have the time. I'm just one, one guy here. What I can do is uh, hopefully inspire and I already made uh, some instructions on how to uh, get started by uh, building robots. And uh, the address uh, is right there. And once you get started, you'll be surprised uh, about the power of uh, microcontrollers because you realize you can do everything. And um, that is actually also sometimes a problem for people because that is another question that I sometimes get like, okay, what should I be doing? Now I'd like to challenge myself on, on that because I think there's like at least 100 cool projects that you could do. So I decided I'll, I'll start, you know, to, uh, to, to, to give you inspiration to 100 cool robot related projects. And uh, I'll do some now, and uh, if you like them, let me know in the comments box. I'll be uh, moving on and uh, doing the rest. Um, this will not be, you know, online tutorials, but I promise you, if you start to do the projects and if you have problems and if you post the, the progress you have, I'll be helping you, and so will be so will the whole, uh, you know, ro robot building uh, community. There you go. Project number one. The first thing you should do, obviously, is to go and build the Start Here robot. In, in the you know in make magazine uh, right now the, the 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 issue that is on the stands now the next project you should do should be build yourself a remote now you learned what a microcontroller is and uh, perhaps you uh, learned that you can work with two microcontrollers because there are many modules out there where you can transfer uh, data uh, wireless from one to another. This project is a very important one. What you do is make your own remote control. Uh, inside this box I got a microcontroller and uh, here I got an LCD screen as well. It's, it's not needed but you can do that. You can add all sorts of uh, stuff like here are some hot mirrors and maybe you can uh, build it out of oh well out of something like this uh, you know a, a, a tiny remote something but the important thing is that you can program it because inside of it you have a uh, microcontroller and uh, whatever switches you have, uh, sliders, etc., you hook them up to your microcontroller and you then you program your microcontroller to uh, to transmit something uh, like perhaps this is just uh, now now this one would transmit uh, H1 and now it would transmit H2 uh, stuff like that and then the other microcontroller will receive it. That way, if you like doing a walking robot, for instance, you won't have to be sitting there and debugging and you know trying to run a program and see how it's doing and, 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 and try to figure when it's doing what. You can like initiate one sequence at a time just by pressing and you can like perhaps make it walk for, forwards, backwards, etc. And each time you make a new robot, you just plug in and then you can like send out whatever you want to send to that uh, robot. So you like have two programs for each robot. The last project that I'd like to show you today um, that you can do, that's a complicated one. Imagine you make a kite, uh, just you know, just a, a kite with one string, a simple kite. Imagine that on that kite you add a microcontroller and uh, a couple of uh, sensors and a LiPo battery. The sensors could be like a gyroscope, uh, perhaps a compass, uh, maybe a, uh, an accelerom accelerometer. Sorry, that's hard to say. The next thing is add some lightweight servos or other form of actuators to the kite. The kite can be just homemade and completely uh, unstable, you know, something like this, a really ugly kite that can't really fly because it'll just go uh, fly about. Imagine, now this is just like the basic concept, but imagine you add some form of flapses or whatever to the kite. 
and then some fun starts you have to program the microcontroller and teach it so it will keep the, the kite steady once you have that done and it's absolutely doable I promise you why not pick up your remote control and now you have a kite with only one line and you have a remote control now I bet you that'll be the coolest nerdest kite on the whole beach take your kite only one string and let it fly because it'll auto balance with the gyros and, and, and the, the flaps you take your remote control and you'll be able to fly the kite around that'll be cool you know put a real long string to it and um, and add a camera perhaps so you can and you know some 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 goggles like you saw last week let me know in the comments box if you like to hear more of my crazy ideas stuff you could do or I'll make up something else show people's robots Thank you very much for joining me out in my garden. I really hope that postman is coming now. He should be here like 20 minutes ago. <laughs>